Hi guys, I wanted to take a moment on this beautiful spring day to tell you a little bit about a new app called Right, W-R-I-T-E, Behind. What's unique about this app is that it enables you to put text behind a photo. Um, it, it enables you to do that in a way simpler than um, opening up Photoshop and doing it. Without further ado, let's get into the app. If you look on the bottom row, you can see Right Behind. That's probably what you need to look for in the App Store. Also, this is free, and I'm not getting any money at all for promoting this. Um, okay, so the left pink button, that accesses your live camera. Uh, the right pink button accesses your camera roll. I, I guess below is Settings. So I'm going to press the right pink button because I already have taken a shot that I want to enhance. This bottom photo on the the one on the bottom is the one I want to use. Okay, so immediately it wants to see if you want to crop this in some way. In general, this first option is horizontal, then vertical or portrait, and then square, which is useful for Instagram. Um, however, I'm just going to go with the full photo, the horizontal, and then click the word crop in the bottom right. So. The next step is for you to add text. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tap that to type as it is suggesting. And I'm just going to add the words I want. I'm going to press return to go to the next line. All right. You can also see um, the bar right below the photo is for alignment. I'm okay with left alignment, so I'm just going to leave that. Um, so I'm going to press done in the upper right hand corner to get out of this view. Let's see, so the first one, you see the AA below the photos? That's to choose the font. Well, I like, I like this font, so I'm going to go ahead and use that. All right. Um, little large but we're gonna do that and then um, below the first uh, line where the AA is is a, a row of colors pick the color um, you want the text to be there and the low the row below that is more colors looks like gradients but you wherever there's a dot that means that you have to pay for that item and I don't want to pay for this I want to keep it free so um, I'm not going to select any of those. Now, there's, um, you can see I'm in the, um, the color selection, which is the color wheel next to the AA. There's also other more advanced features to the right if you want to explore those. Um, you can just play with the text box, um, put your finger on it to move it, and, um, you can use the arrows at the tips of the text box to help make it easier to um, manipulate. So the cool thing about this app is really that it's gonna um, allow you to do some um, layering without uh, the bother of Photoshop. So um, I'm trying to make this overlap so that you can see um, the usefulness of it. Sorry about any notifications I get. Okay, so I'm gonna go with that. Um, close enough for me. And to So to move on to the next step, I need to click the check mark in the upper right hand corner. Alright, so this um, almost to, next to last step is to basically erase any text that uh, you want to it to, to appear behind you or in a lower level. So you see this brush right below the photo, the, the brush? Um, that's getting you to select how big of a brush you want. So with the default settings, this is what happens when I touch the screen. Raw! Um, you might think that's a mess, but then um, click over to the um, squares right by the brush. And this is basically an undo. So then I'm, color I'm using my finger to color it back. Um, and then finally this 
um, color box is just saturation if you want the uh, picture itself to, to be more intense or less intense. I'm fine with it, so I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to go back to brush and do a little bit of coloring. Get rid of the two. So this is really subtle <laughs> on this one, but um, that is my modification using the app. Um, you can see in the upper right hand corner that's it looks like a compass but it's really for magnification that's a, a, a feature that you would pay for. Okay so this is how I want it to look. I'm probably gonna pop it into my um, well I'm gonna use it uh, in, a, in a number of different ways. Um, I could use it as a cover for my uh, my YouTube video. I can um, use it in a post standalone. I can use it um, pop it up into stories and just you know just to advertise that I have this video now um, lots of different uses okay so now I'm gonna um, choose the upload in that bar below my photo um, I'm a willing to allow the watermark to be there so I'm gonna push later and then it brings up my apps in the bottom bar and I'm just gonna pick photos which is the first icon and it says successfully saved so that's it so hat tip to Jeff C at social media examiner who recommended this app I heard about it in a social media examiner podcast let me know if you like this tutorial with a like or a send me a message with a thumbs up um, that's how you let me know that you are interested in seeing more of these. I'm thinking about creating a series of tutorials on the best of the best apps, apps that help with Facebook, Instagram, social media in general, as, as well as those that are useful for people in business. So again, if you want to see more of this content, you got to let me know with a like or a thumbs up. All right. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys.